guys, it's Patricia. Today I am bringing to you the April Wax Melting Challenge, which is open to people that melt Scentsy, vendor or retail wax, or if you burn candles or melt candles, it's all inclusive pretty much. So I'm helping out Angie from Kentucky Waxy Girls. So we're gonna swing into April. If you want some tips for how to melt, if you're a Scentsy only melter, I'll, I'll try to link a card or I'll put in the comments a pinned link to watch my previous video. It gives you a little bit of tips. What we're going to do today is just cover the prompts. Some people like to hear them and if you're visually impaired this might help you. All right so I'll try to put a split screen here. All right the first is fool them with a fake out scent. I've gotten a lot of questions about this. So April Fools is a day that you're kind of tricking people. So think of this as a scent that might trick someone. Have you baked something? Have you cleaned the house? Do you have an artificial tree and you want to uh, pretend you have a real tree? Do you not have a fireplace, but you want to pretend you have a fireplace? Do you want um, to melt a dupe? Could be a candle dupe, a perfume dupe, those kind of things. Now, just as an example, many years ago, I melted a wax. I think it was called Nutty Butter Bars from Sensationals. And my husband <laughs> messaged me and said, did you bake something? So just something like that, that you have... Your family has asked you in the past, or you've tricked them in the past, or just branch out. It could be anything. All right, <laughs> moving on. The second, light it up blue by melting a blue wax in support of autism awareness. So on the third, melt a diamond shape or white wax. So I didn't know if everyone would have a diamond shaped wax, so that's why I went with white. And that's for the month of April because it's a the birthstone. I thought we'd tie that in. On the fourth, melt a strawberry scent. That could be a strict strawberry or a blend with strawberry in it. On the fifth, National Caramel Day, melt a caramel scent. If you don't have caramel scents or you really dislike them, pick a wax that kind of looks like it. Example, a creamy caramel color. On the sixth, melt a wax from your favorite scent category. So depending on what you like, we're gonna see what everyone likes with that day. On the seventh, it says National No Housework Day. Melt a spa or relaxing scent. So I had to include that because who doesn't want an excuse not to do any housework? So make sure you don't do any housework on that day. It's not allowed. On the 8th, we're getting closer to Easter. So I said melt a kid scent. It could be a scent that your kids love if you have kids or a scent that you consider kid friendly. On the 9th, happy Easter. Melt something pastel in color or an Easter shaped wax. On the 10th, still tying in to Easter, melt a chocolate or candy scent because most kids or even if you're an adult, you might kind of pick up some chocolate or candy uh, on Easter or shortly thereafter. So let's enjoy a little treat there. On the 11th, it says eight track tape day. So this is a little bit of a challenging one. Melty scent that reminds you of the 60s, 70s, or 80s. So back when I was a kid, my dad used to play eight tracks in one of his vehicles. And that brings back a memory for me. Now the song, I'm going to, I'm going to melt something that I linked to a song. The song is actually from the 50s, but I was probably list listening to the eight tracks in the 70s or maybe even the 80s. So I'm going to tie that in like that, but you can kind of branch out and interpret that how you think. On the 12th, it says melt a pink wax for International Day of Pink. On the 13th, it says peach cobbler day, melt a peach scented wax or color. On the 14th, melt a scent you associate with a garden. That could be florals, it could be greenery, it could be anything, what you associate with a garden. On the 15th, it says melt a pretty or unique wax for World Art Day. So if you're a Scentsy only melter, you might try to pick a unique scent or something that has very pretty packaging. And if you're a vendor wax person, then you probably wanna pull out your most extravagant piece of wax. On the 16th, S, S or S, melt a scoopable soy or sweaty wax. So that, that one would probably be one that if I was doing this full time, I'd probably throw that prompt in um, periodically because it can cover a lot of different things. All right, the 17th, melt a cake or frosting scent. On the 18th, melt a scent you hoard. So what do you have a lot of? And what have you been avoiding melting because you just love it? Melt, melt it, you don't have to finish it. You can just melt a bit if you want. On the 19th, it says melt a scent that starts with the letter A. A for April, right? On the 20th, it's pineapple upside down cake day. Melt either a pineapple, cherry, brown sugar, or cake scent. Uh, I guess you could also melt something that had butter because there's a lot of butter in the glaze. 
On the 21st, it says mix a blue and green wax because we're heading into Earth Day. So I thought, let's see what you guys come up with. Something that's blue in color and something that's green in color. On the 22nd, it is Earth Day. Melt something earthy or outdoorsy. So that could be in, uh, interpreted a few different ways. So you could melt something that's very earthy, autumn-like. You could melt something fresh. You could melt something aquatic. Okay, here we go. The 23rd, it says melt a scent you associate with Florida. So there's different ways you can go with this. And I'm not going to say what I'm going to do, but I'm interested to see what everyone's going to pick for that. On the 24th, it says melt a new to you scent. So just something you haven't tried before. Maybe it's something you're letting cure in vendor wax. Maybe it's a new Scentsy wax. Maybe it's a candle you've been um, meaning to, you know, light up. Do, do that. <laughs> All right, 25th, National Zucchini Bread Day. Melt a zucchini, a bread, or a brown wax. So some people, if you're a Scentsy only person, you don't have any zucchini, but there is a couple bread type scents you could melt. If you don't have those or you don't care for those, you can melt a brown wax. Sometimes with these prompts, um, you don't want to make them so super focused that people can't do them. So I try to give options, but usually my first couple options are what I'm hoping to see. But if you don't have that or you really don't care for it, you know, a color is easy to fall back on. And it's just for fun. So don't stress out about it. And remember, if you miss a couple of days, it doesn't mean you have to stop altogether. Just jump back in when you can. All right. The 26th, it says melt a scent you would love in perfume or cologne. It could be a scent that maybe it's already um, duped in a perfume or cologne, but you just don't have that perfume and you wish you did. Or it could be one that you would love to see in a, in a perfume in real life. All right, 27th, melt a scent you dislike eating or drinking, but you love to smell it in wax form. So an example for me, I'm not going to melt this, but I do not drink coffee, so, but I love the smell of coffee blends. So that might be an example. So but there's lots of foods that some people don't like in real life, but they might like in wax and vice versa. All right, on the 28th, it says melt a lavender scent or a scent that reminds you of a baby. So that'll be nice, nice and relaxing, hopefully. April showers on the 29th, it says melt a rainy day scent. So that could be an aquatic or rain scent. It could be something that's soothing and relaxing to you when the weather is crappy. So whatever you interpret. And on the 30th, of course, it would bring May flowers. We're heading into May. It says melt a floral blend. If you don't have any florals or you really don't care for them, you could melt a scent that starts with the letter F. So just remember, the goal of the melting challenge is to go through your stuff and re-familiarize your, yourself with what you have and what you've forgotten that you have to melt through your wax efficiently and to shop your own stash and just to have fun. It's just for fun. So looking forward in the next few days for videos for me, I have a Scentsy Empties coming up and a non-Scentsy Wax Empties coming up. So hopefully you'll be excited to see those. I'll post them here, you know, sporadically through the week. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of woods. Take care and I will see you guys in the next video.